Okay, so um, I originally recorded a game that I played for you guys, but for some reason there wasn't like audio um, coming from the game, but you could hear me speak. So what I wanted to do is just go over it again because we played the dreaded Mongols. You know, I don't know, I don't know what's happening with this game and Mongols and people playing Mongols all the time. Like nobody wants to choose the underdog. So anyway. Um, I just wanted to go through this game with you, um, see what you guys think. Um, I kind of think that this was just like a, I don't know, like a, a new Mongols player. But um, yeah, let's go through the ball. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice, um, I just had COVID and still recovering a bit, you know. Um, anyway, so I put all my villagers on food, I started collecting, um, or I started off with another two, adding another two villages to the, to gold. I just want to see what he's doing. He went straight onto wood. He put his uvu, he dropped the uvu down here. And um, he's got one person on food, so he's not planning on aging up, which makes sense, because in the game he aged up quite late. Alright, so, he's putting that guy on food. He's got a couple of villages lined up there. I wonder what's the, the plan with all the wood. Anyway. As you can see, um, currently he seems to be leading in terms of everything else except food and gold, because we're even. Um, I'm collecting some sheep somewhere here. Where am I? Man, I don't even know where this guy is anymore. <laughs> Okay, anyway, you can hear the sheep bells going off. I'm collecting the sheep. He's got... Uh, I've got eight villages. And he's got eight villages. So quite even, yeah. And I think he's going to send uh, his car over here to, to, to harass me in my base. We, oh, here's my scout collecting sheep and stuff. I never even went for relics in this match. Um, sorry if I ruined it for you, but uh, I think it's going to be quite a quick video. I'm going to times two this a bit, so you can actually see what's happening um, a little bit faster, you know. It's a 27 minute match. So anyway, his uh, Khan is coming up. Looks like he's uh, collecting wolves for some reason, even though he's Mongols. Oh, oh, maybe he's just like firing automatically. Okay, cool, so um, I can age up. My opponent here, Khan, doesn't have enough food. Let's see why is that, isn't he? He dropped the stable. Okay. So he was planning on getting knights out. Or horsemen out at least. Probably, probably planned on harassing my villagers. So we're leveling up, he's not. There come the horseman. Slow it down a bit here. Yeah. See what he did. Okay, so he sent horseman out. He attacked my Khan. I mean not my Khan, my scout. And I just continued collecting sheep. And I think at this point, I'm about to run into his horseman. Oh, I just missed him. Okay. So currently he's sitting on, well, I'm sitting on 14 economy and he is sitting on 16 economy. So he's passed me a little bit. I wonder how long it takes him to make a villager. 20 seconds, so 3 seconds less than I do. Like English takes 20 seconds to make a villager. Mongols takes 20 seconds. Got some more horsemen coming out. The other two are just parking over here in the Star Forest. And um, his economy seems to be booming. Except his food. Yeah, you can see he's killing all my sheep. Trying to punish him for, for being in his base. And uh, let's see my economy 15. His economy is 17. I noticed that a lot of the games I lose, um, like 
if I'm not playing Mongols, a lot of the games I lose is because I forget to make villages. And their village accounts are miles surpassed as mine, you know, like Very especially tough. if you're playing playing like a like a French player, you'll see that um, the French player can make villages in 17 seconds. Whereas English can only make villages in 23 seconds. So they will obviously surpass you unless you make a second TC. Or maybe even a third TC. Okay, let's see how he's looking. It looks like he's got the lead so far. Let's see the score actually. Even the Mongol score isn't that great. Like, I mean, hey, we're not so far behind. Like 812 to 814, okay. Current resources, he's got more. But he hasn't aged up. I've aged up and I'm starting to create military. He's got a couple of horsemen. Looks like he's going in for a quick harass, trying to get one or two villages here. Because that's what Mongols do. This is what they do. They they tower rush or they send horsemen in. But I was prepared because I saw his horsemen earlier, so I made a couple of um Garu. I didn't see him over here, so you see I can't see him over here. So I'm just piling in the pikemen. I should have gotten some archers as well, but either way, we're getting them. But even if it comes to my gold, I only got two villages there. Two? Yeah, two villages. So yeah, he's coming for the he's coming for the villages. As expected, as like Mongols always go for the gold villages first. If I was a Mongols player, I would go for the wood villages because there's like a gang of them. Here. With a couple of his horsemen. He still never aged up, he's still in feudal age. And he's got a few idle villages. Oh, that's that's me that has idle villages. But we both have 20. We both have 20 villages. I got three idle because I had to obviously now um, garrison a few of them, I think. Oh, I garrison two of them, and this one is sitting here. This one is like the blacksmith for me. So he is currently retreating because I think he saw my pikemen. But um, I continue to make noise. Oh, I'm making archers now. Uh, or oh, not archers, um, longbowmen. Cool, cool. Um, back in his base. What's that? Oh, he's attacking my scout. So nobody went for water yet. I didn't go for water because I had a strong feeling he was going to contest the water. Like it was kind of pointless going for water if he was going to make all this horsemen, you know, and I had a strong feeling he was going to do that. So, I didn't go for water until later on in the game, which you'll see. <clears throat> Let's fast forward a bit. I'm just for that. So now, funny thing here is he's placing a tower in front of his goal because I rush him, which is weird. <laughs> Slow it down a bit, times two that. Uh, built a couple of walls just in case he came back with some horse archers. He's starting to age up the feudal now. And um, I got quite an army. Let's check the score. So I'm in the lead at the moment. Because I got quite a significant mass plus I was getting upgrades in the blacksmith. Um, this guy doesn't even think he needs a blacksmith because he's Mongols. So OP. <laughs> And I didn't even know you could do that. Like, make your villages work fast with the car. Hey, that's, no that's actually insane. That's actually insane. I didn't know that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's look at the village account. 28 for me. And he has 27. So I took the lead. Alright. So I think at this point I start. I decide to um, push in early. Because I didn't want him to like recover or you know make stuff that I couldn't counter. Well, I'm yeah. So now I decided to push in because I wanted to get that that English rush, but I needed enough units to do that, and I got quite a bit of pikemen as you can see, um, as a to to fight of his horsemen. And he's, he's made a couple of horse archers as well. So now we're pushing in. Look at the look at them run. Look at those little legs. <laughs> okay. 
Alright, so, okay. So yeah, typical English rush here. Um, Is he building a couple of rams? Can we start pushing in? And uh, I want to see what he's doing. I don't think he's doing anything interesting, but he's just getting his horsemen ready, huh? What is this uh, archers? He's got quite a significant mass here, but he doesn't have the upgrades that I have. But his score is higher though. His score is reflecting as like much higher. Let's watch this, let's watch this. So my pikeman get his horses. And these rams are actually making a lot of nonsense here. So I think he's finding it difficult to aim at me. He got his uh, his new archers down. Now it's just the worst archers. He's not making any more. Still got 31. Oh that's yeah that's him. 31 um, economy and I'm 38. That's cool. So the long bow machine to take out the, the, the horse archers. You just need to add some meat in between them. So I'm thinking like, okay, you're gonna take down horse archers, maybe long bow and scouts. I think that's that's actually the best. Long bowmen and horsemen, but scouts are cheaper. So maybe I'll try that next. So he's going for his uh, his military, his production and stuff. And, uh, he's going for one village over here. Deplete. I didn't know that at the time, but I saw him. Let's check his military. That's his military is one. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Let's um, check it. My economy and stuff. My military is thirty. Okay. So we're getting his production down. I don't know what he did after this because I couldn't um, see the side. So I don't know if I can show you here. Yeah. Let's say, yeah, you see, I can only see this. I couldn't see his wood line or anything like that. But okay, if I knew his wood line was there, I would have taken him. But come to think about it, it's kind of obvious that his wood line is there because he's Mongols. So he goes and he torches the rams and I come and I kill a couple of villagers and now he's on 27 villagers and I am on. 42, so I'm like double his villages, just keeping him busy. As you can see, I could have aged up um, a long time ago, but I kept making military because I have to keep the pressure. You know? If you don't keep the pressure with the Mongols players in such a good position, then he's not gonna win. But anyway, I stopped this production. You see the, the total the current resources. I mean, look at this, I stopped his production. He's still got more food, he's still got more it's food. Done. And he's got no one working on it. Like, he's got two people on working on it. Fun. Zero now. <laughs> Going for his villages here, as, a, as the English are uh, known for. We take his villages out, he's like, still on 27, so he was probably producing villages. Oh, that could be a mistake. I wonder what the... Okay, as five villagers garrisoned up here. So no one's on production here. This man is doing nothing. He doesn't have a stable. He doesn't have any military units he can make. All he can do is repair, repair, repair. He's got one military unit. This thing here, I don't know what it is. A horse A con. <laughs> a con. Uh, let's uh, take a look at ours. We're on 43. And this man is on 25. Okay, but he's eventually, I think he's gonna take this uh, ram out. But we got some military um, military units coming in here, some reinforcements. And uh, yeah, see the score. Quite interested in that. So we've taken the lead by quite a bit now. This man is using villagers to repair, so he's wasting his lumber. He's wasting his villages. He, like he can't do anything at the moment. And I'm just making another ram over here and I got reinforcements coming in. So early pressure with Mongols, I think, yeah, quite quite good. 
Taking out the evil, even though we don't, it doesn't have anything on it yet. Like there's no stone there. Um, I don't see any other military units or military buildings. And his villagers oh, are just idle. I don't know what he's doing. Like he's just standing there doing nothing. Oh, he was was he making stables? So he drops down three stables, but he still has like no wood. 173 wood. Got some food. He hasn't aged up yet. I haven't aged up either. And uh, yeah. Some more military here. Okay. Sending in another two rams, he's probably gonna send his villagers to torture down. Let's check his military count. Or oh, his uh, villager count is 28. So, so he actually made a couple of villagers. The villagers can torture these rams down like nothing. Look at that. He's done one villager. The price of 300 wood. And now he's got no wood. <laughs> now he can't repair. He's wasted all his production repairing this town. I don't know why I was going to the town center the whole time when I had this thing. Um, what is this? The deer stones? Looking at this out. 23 economy for this man. And I am on 46. Another thing I should have been concentrating on here is making more villages. So anyway. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm making any more military on my end over here. Sorry for going out of the action. But as you can see, they take my um, they take my ram out. He currently has 12 villages in his economy, and slowly but surely, just uh, bringing the Mongols down, you know. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Here's a couple a couple of my military, and the score is sitting on. 1800 to 1375. So, anyway, in couple minutes, this man is 000. Current resources, this man, the game's over. He should have just GG there. But I suppose he thought Mongols can come back, you know, 12 villages and all. It's be it's full dog. Got 14 now. So he's wasting his food, he's making villages, he's. Wasting, the wasting food and lumber and eventually you just won't be able to make any I'm oh repair his town center sorry was a bit distracted there plus I can't hear my one ear it's not like a permanent thing it's like I, for some reason I can't hear the one ear I think it's from from the COVID so I'm aging up if, well, finally, I'm aging up and killing his villagers at the same time. Just keeping the numbers down, keeping the production, or stopping the production. He's got no wood, he's got no food. He's got some gold, but I don't know what he's planning on doing. I mean, you could sell some gold and get some food, but there's actually nothing you can do at this point, you know? I wonder if we can go to a cinem cinematic view. This is. Yeah, okay, that's much better, you know, so this is not um, the game being over. I won't change it yet. But it actually looks a lot better. So anyway, we got the two rams. Uh, they're just keeping pressure on this man, stopping his production. I don't know what his plan is. I think he wanted his town center to kill me. But like, there's nothing you can do here. Anyway. My military is coming out. I wanted to get a manga now, but I have had enough wood. Um, my current production is yeah, 925 and 140, with 200 wood basically. Gold is looking quite good, especially compared to this guy's economy. Um, I don't know what this name is. Solio? 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 Uh, Solio? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what his name is. And he just keeps sending out one villager at, at a time to die. Oh, he's, he's got uh, his rally point over here. I think this guy must be a noob. 
it must be a new Mongols player. He probably thought Mongols is the best and he's not gonna lose, you know? If he puts Mongols. Anyway, back in the cinematic view. Um, I don't see anything else happening here yet. It's a uh, fast forward a little. So I'm, I'm bringing in some um, some military units here. Here's a bunch um, coming in. Some minute arms. Some more archers. I got four rams coming in, and I got um, villagers coming into both barracks. I wonder if you can see this. It is the dog. Um, he actually can't see it. Oh no no, because I haven't started building it. You probably will. Or oh, if I take this down, you probably won't see it. But anyway, we're taking him down. We're taking him down slowly. Now we decided to go for the for the deer stones. This man went for the for the wood because he was running through the wood. You know what I discovered today? Like, people think that gold and food and stuff is the right to buy wood. It's so late to come back. Like, yeah, if you can take up all the wood, you can eat your enemies wood. The like, there's basically nothing that guy can do. You know? Like, you can't build anything, you can't make certain units. It just becomes difficult when you don't have wood. Okay, so we got the barracks. I want, I want to see. Um, if you can see this. Sorry, I'm bad at crossing. No, you can't. I'm bad at crossing. Oh, hopefully you get that. Anyway, he sends all his villages out. 21 villages. He can't repair this uh, town center. But he's got he's got some wood. He's got 474 wood. It's quite decent now. It's kind of uh, bought it up. Oh, I think he bought it. Eh? He must have bought it because he doesn't have gold. And he never bought any gold intensive units. It is, it all. So now I don't know how he's going to defend 6 or 7 rams. His whole economy is busted. I'll just check mine. I got 57 villagers. This man has 3. He's slowly but surely he's getting villagers. Worker you know, is full for third. But not enough. Now we're just going to send in all the rams. The only thing you can do is now send his villagers to repair and eventually he's in a run out of wood oh my rams are just gonna destroy it I mean look at this he's going down man he's gonna try and repair let's see he can't too many there's too many rams and that is a uh, GG boom I hope you guys enjoyed that. 